Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I've got the usual breakdown for Isanzo's 20 second dev blog. So today's dev blog touched on arguably the most important and abundant class in Isanzo. The Rifleman class is the only one with an unlimited quantity and it is the backbone of any team. The primary responsibilities of the Rifleman class are to resupply their teammates with ammunition, send rifle grenades into enemy fortifications, and just be the overall manpower required to take objectives with brute force. Here you can see the Italian Rifleman with the default rifle, the M1891 Carcano. And then we have the Austro-Hungarian equivalent with the M1895 Manleischer. The basis of both these classes is the standardized bolt-action rifles with a bayonet, but there are deeper unlocks that can be gained through playtime, such as reserve issue rifles and rifle grenades. However, there are choices in selecting specific equipment. For example, you'll have to sacrifice your bayonet in order to use those rifle grenades, and as a secondary equipment, you can choose between a single hand grenade or an ammo box. Now, it's important to establish the difference between the ammo crate and the ammo box. Although they are confusingly similar, they serve two different purposes. The ammo crate is a perk that can be selected by anyone using the right filming class, while the ammo box is that piece of secondary equipment I mentioned. The crate is a static placement that can be built and can only resupply friendly infantry, while the box gives you the ability to resupply teammates on the go, and it can also resupply static weapon emplacements like mounted machine guns, mortars, and mountain guns. Finally, there are three perks for the Rifleman class discussed in this dev blog. The first is the ammo crate, which we already talked about. The second is the point man perk, which makes you count as more than one person in objective areas. I see this being very strong for people who really like to play the objective. And then finally, we have the chaplain perk, which doubles the speed that you bandage yourself and others. On that note, Isanzo will have a complete bandaging and bleeding system. If shot in a non-lethal way, you will begin to bleed until you either die or apply a bandage. Now, anyone can bandage themselves, but it is substantially faster if someone else does it for you. And I see this encouraging extra teamwork, especially among riflemen using the specialized perks. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.